And we begin tonight with those new t new details on that leak at VC Summer as we've been reporting the lone reactor at the plant shut down over a week ago and remains out of operation tonight. Well, now the commission who has authority over the case says the water that's leaking is radioactive. News 19's Alicia Niaves has the full details. The new information we're learning today came from Roger Hanna, a spokesman with the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, or NRC. The NRC is overseeing this leak, and they have full-time inspectors at all nuclear plants across the U.S. So, as soon as the leak happened at VC Summer, they were made aware, and they are monitoring everything that's going on. He says the leak is coming from a weld area on a six-inch pipe inside the containment building at VC Summer. You can see the building here. Here is what else we found out today. All of the water that was coming from that pipe was collected inside containment. So even though the water is slightly radioactive, there was not a pathway for that water to get outside the plant or even to an area where workers might have been exposed. Hannah says workers are repairing the pipe and they're trying to figure out what caused the leak. Dominion Energy told us they didn't have to shut down the plant because the leak was so small, but they did anyway to be proactive. It's important to note that this was not a terribly safety significant event because the amount of water was very small. The water was contained inside containment and there was no pathway for this water to get to the environment or to in any way affect people living near the facility. Anna says what the company does is treat the water before it's released. While crews work to fix the leak, they're using this opportunity to do other maintenance jobs at the facility that they couldn't otherwise do if the plant was in operation. When we asked when the plant would reopen, we were told that's market sensitive information. Here's why. When a plant is operating or when it's not, it affects the price of electricity, especially on extremely hot or cold days. Alicia Neavis, News 19, WLTX.